Hi, this is Leah from Open Intro. In this video, we will see how to apply the law of large numbers. Specifically, we will see how the number of repetitions of a chance experiment, such as coin tossing, affects chance error as a percent. Below are four versions of the same game. Your arch nemesis gets to pick the version of the game, and then you get to choose how many times to flip a coin, 10 times or 100 times. Identify how many coin flips you should choose for each version of the game. It costs $1 to play each game. Explain your reasoning. Part A. If the proportion of heads is larger than 0.6, you win $1. So the question is, do you prefer fewer tosses or more tosses to increase the likelihood of this happening? First, we need to know the expected proportion of heads. What is the expected proportion of heads? Right, it's 0.5 or 50%. Next, notice that we are dealing with proportions or percents. We're interested in the proportion of heads being larger than 0.6 or larger than 60% of the tosses being heads, not in an absolute number of heads that show up. As n the number of tosses goes up, the observed proportion of heads tends to get closer to the expected proportion of heads. This is what the law of large numbers tells us. To think about this, let's ask a, a very similar question. Would you expect it, it to be more likely to get 60% or more heads if you toss the coin 10 times or 10 million times? If you toss a coin 10 times to get larger than 60% heads, you would need six or more heads. That doesn't seem that unlikely. But if you do it 10 million times to get 60% or more heads, you would need 6 million or more tosses. That's a whole million away from the expected value of 5 million. So that seems unlikely. So as n goes up, we expect the observed proportion to actually be closer to the expected proportion. So now, to answer this question, uh, we want, again, the proportion of heads to be larger than 0.6. So having kind of a number line can help us visualize what's going on. Here's the expected proportion. To win, we need to be up here, above 0.6. We know that as n goes up, the observed proportion tends to be close to the expected proportion. But we want to be up here, so we want a smaller number of tosses. So for this one, we will choose 10. Part B, if the proportion of heads is larger than 0.4, you win $1. Now, if we're close to 0.5, we're happy because we win. If we're far from 0.5, we might be happy or we might be unhappy. So we prefer to be close to 0.5 because that ensures that we will win. So as n goes up, the observed proportion should be closer to the expected proportion. So that's what we want. So in this case, we want a larger number of tosses. So we want 100 times. Part C, if the proportion of heads is between 0.4 and 0.6, you win. So here, do we want to be close to the expected value or far from the expected value? We want to be close to the expected value to win. So do we want small n or large n? We want large n because as n goes up, we expect to be closer to here. So in this case, we want large n. We want 100 times. Part D. If the proportion of heads is smaller than 0.3, you win a dollar. So here, do we want to be far from the expected value or close to the expected value? We want to be far from the expected value. So do we want a small n or a large n? We want a small n because with a large n, we expect to be close to here. So we want a small n to be far over here. And so we'll choose 10 times. That's it for this video. For more resources, check us more free resources, check us out at openintro.org.